The Browns have now lost four straight games, making this the first time that has happened in the Kevin Stefanski era. They fell 23 to 20 in another close loss, bringing their record to two and five as both the Ravens and the Bengals start to pull away in the division at four and three. With the trade deadline approaching, the questions continue on whether or not this season is still worth salvaging. There were also some key injuries that took place this week. David Njoku, who has been having one of his most productive seasons on the Cleveland Browns, suffered a high ankle sprain and is expected to miss several weeks. Linebacker Jacob Phillips suffered a pectoral injury that will likely end his season, making him the second linebacker on the roster this season to suffer from a season-ending injury. Denzel Ward remains in concussion protocol as the Browns' injuries really start to pile up. The latest reports emerging in the media indicate that the Browns are willing to listen to trade offers for running back Kareem Hunt and cornerback Greedy Williams. When it comes to Kareem, the Browns would not get a substantial return in a trade with him given his age and current production at the position. Trading Greedy might make a little bit more sense given that the Browns have a lot of depth at the position. Between Denzel, Newsom, and the rookie Martin Emerson, who's had a good year, they may be looking to move on from Greedy in the near future. After a week of players on the defense publicly discussing that there is a lack of commitment from younger players and that the work is not being put in outside of practices, they had one of their best weeks this season as a collective group against the Ravens. The improvements were promising, but it might be too little, too late for this season.